and welcome to today's video. It's all about working here on the little homestead. So I have to make a meal, I have to hang wash out, I have to work on a project. It's just spending the day with me. Hi everybody, I am Homestead Tessie and I'm really excited to have you here and join me today. Grab a cup of coffee or maybe you want to start working in your own home while you watch me work. Sometimes it's always more motivating when you have somebody else that's out doing things that you really don't feel like doing. Well, I turn my camera on to motivate you and you watch me and it motivates me. So it's a win-win. So let's get working in today's video. You know, when you write lists on a paper, it doesn't look like very much, but when you start working, sometimes you just don't feel like getting it all done. And that's how it was today. I thought, well, I'm gonna turn the camera on. Maybe I can inspire someone. And it was quite a bit of work. So what I'm doing is I'm using a little hand chainsaw and I am not keeping all the little branches. This is of a Henry Louder walking tree, and it's really sappy, so we are keeping the big wood for burning, but we're getting rid of all these little branches. It looks like quick work, doesn't it, though? Well, actually, it took a lot longer than what it, I thought it would. With having a fire, you have to just keep working at it to keep it all burnt, and when I start a project, I always like having it done. I don't like having projects half started and waiting to the next day to finish it. So what we're doing is we're burning them all down until there is absolutely nothing left and then I can say, okay, now my job is complete. All right, I got most of that done. Just need to chainsaw off the big stuff, wash my hands and get working on some lunch. So I put my everyday meals in videos like this. I really don't put these out as special videos anymore because what I'm making is chili. And how many times do I have chili videos out? But chili is something our family likes to eat. And also chili is really frugal. Wait till you hear a upcoming shopping video. You won't believe it. You'll understand why I say chili is so frugal. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make some chili. So the way I make chili is we use a lot of beans. Beans save us money. So it's a lot of beans and a little bit of meat. And I have some tomatoes here that have some basil in them. I'm just gonna go ahead and probably take a few of the pieces of the basil out. Our son does not like basil, but hey, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. And as long as there's not a whole lot in there, he won't know the difference. Everybody makes chili different. Everybody is different with their way of cooking. My kitchen, my rules, and this is how I make my chili. Now we're gonna add some canned food that I have from the pantry, and wow, we're soon gonna be done. I can't cook in this pan, so I thought we're gonna make a little bird bath. And we'll see how I make it work. I just am using things that I have here on hand. So what I'm doing is, I guess the little ones probably would work better. So I'm just gonna hot glue this and a bird on here like this. And we're gonna go ahead and make a solar fountain.
well everyone thank you guys so much for watching today's video these are all the jars that we used up from our food storage and i cannot wait to see you guys again tomorrow such a beautiful afternoon as I edit this video for you I want to thank you guys so much for watching today I am going to be showing you this gift that was given to me and I put it at the end of my videos so those of you who enjoy it while watching me open up my goodness it's crazy how you guys can fit so much in one box it is so much fun and I thank you for enjoying it with me So Michelle gave me a bunch of cards, which I can always use. I'm really blessed by all of you who give me cards because I don't need to buy them and I love having them on hand. Thank you, Michelle, for the cards. And she gave me some emergency candles, which I'm glad for them. Farm fresh eggs. Well, that is going out today in my chicken house. Oh. That's right, it's not a chicken house anymore. That's okay, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it out in my potting shed. Well, no, that's not my, <laughs> that's not my potting shed. I don't know, I should say shack number one, shack number two, and shack number three. So shack number four is my potting shed. Shack number one is my potting shed. Shack number two is my herbal shed. Shack number three is my garage where I have all kinds of stuff. Thank you so much. I really use these a lot. So the reason why I use these is for our children, I send food home with them and they usually give me back the bags, but every once in a while I don't get a bag back and it's really nice to have an extra bag. I'm really happy for that. Okay, so here we go. She gave me two of these tins and these are tea tins. She gave me two of these tea tins. I'm going to be putting them in the greenhouse because I'm going to plant something in them. I love planting things in them. Okay, well first let me show you the books that she gave. I'm not going to spend 10 minutes on each book, so I'm just going to hold it up to you. I Hate to Cook by Peg Bracken. I love her books. A Window Over the Sink. Oh, I don't have this one either. Peg Bracken. I love Peg Bracken. She was a little bit like, um, Heloise, what was her name? H Helpful Hints with Heloise, something like that. I think she used to have a column. Look at these, Sunday dinners, Monday is meatloaf. Y'all know. Oh, look at this, hearty slow cooker soups. Cheesecakes, Kenny boy, my husband loves cheesecakes. He loves them. Oh, this is neat, this is neat, medication logbook. Now I don't take any medications, but I can find something to use this for. I will probably use this as my YouTube to-do list. And let me tell you, there's a lot to do with YouTube. And Keepers at Home, I love Keepers at Home. And look, she gave me some of the back ones at Keepers at Home. So I don't have some of these back ones. So thank you so much. Oh, and the bread machine cookbook, the ultimate bread machine cookbook. I love, 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 love that cookbook. I don't have this one. I have one like it. So thank you so much, Michelle. And there was something yet in this bag. Tablecloth with my favorite colors, but you know what I'm doing? This is going into my fall box. I just got my spring box out. That's going into my fall box, so I have something special for fall. Uh, this is adorable. This goes in a basket. This looks vintage. This looks like it would be from the Oh, this is neat. It looks like from the 70s or 80s. I absolutely love this. I'm going to find a basket right now to see if I can put it in. Thank you so much, Michelle. You are so kind. And <laughs>